the first account. It was in a warm September, a month still haunted by the saddening winter. If well I remember, the winds still lashed, the village where, upon dusk, dogs barked, the place where until dawn no soul wandered. That day my first saw her in a mere instant, when I uttered abruptly my fearful shout of horror, blew the irises of the visage whose lips in scarlet bled my own bare neck in a silent hot ardor. The night's gelid were born with that silhouette, only the naive moonlight touched the parapet, where under the Victorian garb came that brunette. It was a beautiful cadaver of a hair so flourished, of a woman whose beautiful face, though dead, whose vibrant death, almost painfully alive, on my pulsing blood relentlessly fed. The last night, it was a pure October of warmth. Cloudy was my gaze, bohemian to those cold lips. That anemic turned my heart that burned of love. And so that last kiss, my lips profoundly touched. And she did not bring death, distinct was my fate. The death so vivid came as a cursed blessing, which I have, my dead God, accepted so straight. Ever since then, Damned and accursed I observe, the fine thread of the sin which is life post-death. Even if from the shallow graves, quiet and inert, we surge us both after each passing sunset, and even if then death equally us embrace, if our diseased life only lives after twilight, each October to the village we return for more, life more than enough to keep the flesh alive and death always dead, but that dies no more.